Okay, so welcome to part two of blood vessels. Uh, this is for the AMP2 lab. We're gonna do um, the blood vessels from the heart all the way down the arm. Okay, so arteries and then veins from the heart down the arm. We already kind of mentioned the arteries coming from the heart a little bit. We said that right on the top of the heart is the aorta and the first branch is the brachiocephalic trunk, then the common carotid, then the left subclavian. And we said this brachiocephalic trunk splits into the right common carotid and the right subclavian. So we're gonna work our way from the subclavian all the way down the arm. So if I bring this a little bit closer, you guys can see the subclavian artery comes right here, the red vessel that goes underneath the clavicle. It goes until the first rib. So it goes just right here. And then this next part of this red vessel right here goes through the underarm. And remember that's called the axilla. So that's the axillary artery. This is the right side of the body. So this would be the right axillary artery. There's also one over here on the left, the left axillary artery. This axillary artery flows into the upper arm and in the upper arm, this is the brachial artery. Remember your upper arm is the brachium, right? Or brachial. The brachial artery comes here until the elbow and then you can see it splits and it goes down the thumb side of the hand and down the pinky side. On the thumb side where the radius is, that's the radial artery. So right radial artery. The part that goes down the pinky side is the ulnar artery, where the ulna is. And then these little loops in the palm are called palmar arches. So we had all of this is the right side of the body. So for everything it's right, and for everything it's gonna be an artery because we're looking at these red ones. We had subclavian, axillary, brachial, radial on the thumb side, ulnar on the pinky side, palmar arches going across the palm. Now we can see this on a couple different models. This model right here is actually a muscle model, but when you look at it, you can see that there are red vessels shown, right? Like these red blood vessels right here. Um, and it's kind of big, so it's a good one to see the muscles on. Right off the bat, you had to figure out right or left. Um, if you hold this, this is my nice, creepy, giant right arm. Um, so this would be right. If you put this right here, right, you can kind of see that this area would be in the underarm, right? Like this would be in the axilla. So when we look up close at that, that vessel that's right there, that would be the axillary artery. So the right axillary artery. Then when that goes through the upper arm, okay, the kind of red vessel that's embedded here in this yellow, that's the brachial artery. So the right brachial artery. That comes all the way down to the elbow, right? And then we said that it splits or it V's. Where it V's at the elbow, so it comes down to here, and then the brachial artery splits. We've got one that comes all the way down, so this red vessel that comes all the way down to the thumb, that's the radial artery. Over here, this red vessel that comes all the way down the pinky side, that's the ulnar artery. And then on the palm, you see palmar arches. Again, if you know where the vessels are located and their general progression, you can identify them on any model, right? So subclavian is under the clavicle. Past the first rib, it becomes axillary in the underarm. Axillary becomes brachial in the upper arm. At the elbow, the brachial splits. Radial comes down the thumb. Ulnar comes down the pinky. Palmar arches are arches on the palm. Everyone hates this model, um, but it's really not bad. There's way more vessels than you need to know. So don't get confused. Just know the progression and you can identify them on here. Right off the bat, we have to know left or right. Okay, this makes sense. This is left. That does not make sense. So this is the left arm. So all of these are going to be left arteries. If I put this here, okay, you can see that this would be in my underarm. So these red vessels that are right here are the axillary arteries. So the left axillary artery. That goes into the upper arm, right? So I can trace this down 
and I have this nice red vessel that goes along the top of the arm. That's the brachial artery. The brachial artery comes to the elbow. I gotta move this, but brachial artery comes down to the elbow and you can see that it splits. I have this one over here that comes down the thumb side. That's the radial artery. This one over here, if you follow it, it goes all the way down to the pinky side. That's the ulnar artery. If you look at the palm, they're kind of underneath, but these red little arches that you see there, those are the palmar arches. Now, that's it for arteries. Um, when we do the veins of the arm, we're gonna concentrate on a few different veins. Now, the arm actually has a brachial vein, a radial vein, an ulnar vein, and they go right alongside the arteries. Um, but your lab manual and a lot of the models don't focus on those vessels. They focus on a couple additional vessels. So when we look at the arm, we'll look at the different ones. We'll look at cephalic, basilic, and median cubital veins. And we are gonna start at the heart though so that we can go through the um, subclavian and axillary veins, just like arteries. Again, when you look at this, this was the superior vena cava coming out of the top of the heart. And then you've got these two brachiocephalic veins. The right, it's tiny, right, just right there. And then the left brachiocephalic vein. We had the jugular that went up the neck and then underneath the clavicle, this is the subclavian vein. So the blue one that goes under the clavicle till the first rib is the subclavian vein. This is the right side. So this is showing you the right subclavian vein. After the rib, it turns into the axillary vein. So the blue one that goes in the underarm is the right axillary vein. But then what we'll see here is we're gonna look at a long vein that comes all the way down the pinky side of the arm. Hey, this guy's like this. So the, the inner vessel, the more medial vessel here is pinky side. Um, so this that comes all the way down the entire pinky side is the basilic vein. Remember, basilar artery was in the brain, right? The vertebral come up, the two vertebrals come up and form the basilar. This is the basilic vein on the pinky side. This huge vessel from all the way up here, it comes in, it actually comes down a little, like it cuts in and then out again. But this long vessel that comes all the way down the thumb side is called the cephalic vein. Then there's this little anastomosis or this little connector in the elbow that's called the median cubital vein. Remember your elbow is cubital, right? The whole elbow is referred to as cubital. So the median cubital vein is this one here. Um, that's where you normally get blood drawn. We don't see the veins on the muscle model, so we won't look at that, um, but we will look at this one. Again, remember this goes like this. So this is the left arm and we're looking at the veins. So they'll all be left veins, all of the blue vessels. Again, if I put this here, this top area is in the underarm or the axilla. So that makes this blue vessel the left axillary vein. Then remember we said we're going to have a long vein that comes all the way down to the thumb, right? So all the way down, comes in a little out on the thumb side. That's the cephalic vein. Okay, that the thumb, it follows all the way up on the thumb side, that's cephalic. Over here, we have another one that comes, I can't show you the whole thing, sorry. It comes all the way down and comes down the pinky side. See, if I follow this, look, I'm going down towards the pinky. That's the basilic vein. Right in the middle, it's numbered 19, but right in the middle, there's this one that cuts across the center, cuts across the middle of the elbow. That's the median cubital vein. Hey, don't get confused. The veins look awful because there's so much going on here. I'll only ask you for one on the thumb side, cephalic. I'll only ask you for one on the pinky side, basilic. I'll only ask you for one on the elbow, median cubital. Okay, so don't get confused. If you know where they're located, you can always figure out which one I'm asking for. All right, that's it for the arm. Um, we'll come back 
and we'll do circulation um, throughout the thoracic cavity and the abdominal pelvic cavity. And then we'll do the legs and hepatic portal circulation last.